Hi, and thank you for visiting my channel. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow. Now let's get started. The Bloodline Saga entered its next phase on WWE SmackDown as Roman Reigns laid waste to Solo Sokoa's henchmen Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa this week. This was the original Tribal Chief's first appearance on the Blue Brand since March 22nd. The crowd was red hot for the OTC. Sokoa had fear in his eyes, and Bloodline 2.0, in the absence of Jacob Fatu, was no match for the former undisputed WWE Universal Champion. However, these were the obvious takeaways from the well-received segment. Here, we delve into the subtleties of the closing segment of SmackDown, with specific emphasis on the bloodline. 5. Roman Reigns was initially hesitant on the stage when the OTC emerged on the stage. He took his time to collect himself and stare down Bloodline 2.0. It is worth noting that Roman Reigns didn't stop to pose as the fireworks went off in the background and the crowd screamed at the top of their lungs. This may be due to character confusion. For nearly four years, the 39-year-old top SmackDown star was a monster villain who seldom played by the book. If Kevin Owens' tirade backstage was any indication, Reigns isn't beloved in the locker room either. However, the live crowd's positive reaction and the deafening OTC chants may have convinced the leader of the Roman Empire that he is indeed a babyface now, with the unwavering support of the WWE Universe. 4. Tama Tonga Could Betray Solo Sokoa Throughout its history, the bloodline has undergone many transformations. The Usos have been in and out of the group, as has Paul Heyman. This was primarily before Solo Sokoa proclaimed himself the tribal chief. Therefore, betrayals are commonplace within the tumultuous Anoa'i family, with Sokoa's hostile takeover being the latest instance of treachery. However, it seems as if the former NXT North American champion may receive a taste of his own medicine of betrayal. Tama Tonga was caught staring at the Ulafala, reminiscent of how Sokoa did the same with Roman Reigns last year and Randy Orton with Cody Rhodes' WWE Championship. Tonga may want the necklace for himself. If his loyalty is put to the test, he may turn his back on Sokoa, making the street champ a sacrificial lamb as he eyes a spot at the head of the table. 3. Jimmy USO was right about the corruption of the status of the tribal chief at SummerSlam 2023. Jimmy USO let down the entire WWE universe when he betrayed his twin brother, Jay, in the main event and prevented his closest kin from becoming tribal chief. As justification for his actions, Jimmy warned Jay that becoming the tribal chief would corrupt him as the status corrupted Roman Reigns. Reigns had become obsessed and ruthless as the head of the table, demanding and forcing everyone to acknowledge him. We received another taste of the same as Solo Sokoa demanded acknowledgement from the fans. First, Roman Reigns did it during the height of his run, and now Sokoa is following suit. Therefore, there may be some truth to Jimmy USO's concerns. The privileges of becoming tribal chief and head of the table could take a toll on the individual's soul. 2. Roman Reigns still considers himself the tribal chief Solo Sokoa has the Ula Fala and the support of the Anoa'i family in the form of Haku's sons and Jacob Fatu. Therefore, he has reason to believe that he is the tribal chief. On SmackDown, Sokoa proclaimed, To Roman Reigns, if you call yourself tribal chief, and you want these, the Ula Fala, back, then come and get it from me. Upon this challenge, the OTC immediately showed up, much to the delight of the WWE Universe, showing everyone that he still considers himself the Tribal Chief, despite his recent failures. 1. The OTC wants the Ula Fala more than anything Cody Rhodes was understandably taken aback when the returning Roman Reigns took down Solo Sokoa and helped Rhodes retain the undisputed WWE Championship at SummerSlam. Rhodes had ended Reigns' historic reign as champion, but the OTC decided to put his championship pursuits on hold only to seek revenge on Sokoa and regain the Ula Fala. The OTC tried to pick up the necklace on Friday and was continuously eyeing it while it was in Sokoa's hands. It possibly means more to him now as his father, Sika Anoa'i, passed away during his hiatus following WrestleMania. The Wild Samoans had enshrined Roman Reigns at Hell in a cell 2020, acknowledging him as the tribal chief. 
that was a symbol of acknowledgement of his excellence. With his father gone, he surely wants to regain the Ulafala to restore and commemorate its glory. As the lights dimmed in the arena, the air felt thick with anticipation. Fans filled the stands, hoping for another epic chapter in the ongoing saga of the bloodline. But this night on WWE SmackDown would prove to be more than just a continuation of the family drama. It would be a night of heartbreak, betrayal, and the devastating realization that the cracks in the foundation of the bloodline had become too deep to mend. 1. The shattered tribal chief asterisk asterisk Roman Reigns entered the ring with his usual swagger, but there was something different about him tonight. His eyes, once full of confidence and authority, now seemed hollow and distant. He stood in the middle of the ring, microphone in hand, but the words that came out were laced with uncertainty. Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, the head of the table, was broken. As he spoke, there was a subtle quiver in his voice, an uncharacteristic hesitation that betrayed the fear gnawing at him. He talked about loyalty, family, and the burden of being the tribal chief, but his words felt like a desperate attempt to hold onto a throne that was slipping away. The bloodline was crumbling, and for the first time, Roman Reigns seemed powerless to stop it. The most heartbreaking moment came when Roman spoke of Solo Sokoa, the youngest member of the bloodline. He referred to Solo as his greatest weapon, but there was a sadness in his tone, as if he knew that he was sending his brother into the lion's den, a lamb to the slaughter. Roman Reigns, who had always been the protector of his family, now realized that he could no longer shield Solo from the inevitable. 2. Solo Sokoa's silent suffering asterisk asterisk Solo Sokoa stood beside his tribal chief, his expression as stoic as ever. But beneath that stone-cold exterior, there was a storm brewing. Solo had always been the enforcer, the muscle of the bloodline, willing to do whatever it took to protect his family. But tonight, there was a subtle shift in his demeanor, a quiet anguish that spoke volumes. As Roman Reigns spoke, Solo's eyes remained fixed on the ground, avoiding the gaze of his older brother. It was a small gesture, but it hinted at the internal conflict Solo was experiencing. He had always followed Roman's orders without question, but now, the weight of those orders was becoming too much to bear. Solo was being sent into battles he knew he might not win, and the realization that he was being sacrificed for the greater good of the bloodline was slowly eating away at him. The unspoken tension between Roman and Solo was palpable, and it became clear that Solo was no longer just the enforcer, he was a pawn in a game he didn't fully understand. The bloodline had always been about loyalty, but Solo was beginning to question where that loyalty was leading him. 3. J.U.S.O.'s distant gaze asterisk asterisk J.U.S.O., the once loyal lieutenant of Roman Reigns, watched the proceedings from the shadows, his face a mask of indifference. But anyone who had followed the bloodline's journey knew that this was a facade. Jay had been through hell and back for his family, but tonight, there was a distance in his gaze, a detachment that suggested he was no longer fully invested in the cause. As Roman spoke about the future of the bloodline, Jay's expression remained unreadable, but his eyes told a different story. There was a weariness in them, a tiredness that came from years of fighting battles that seemed to have no end. Jay had sacrificed everything for the bloodline, but now, he was beginning to wonder if it was all worth it. The once unbreakable bond between Jay and Roman was starting to fray, and the tension between the two was becoming impossible to ignore. Jay had always been Roman's right-hand man, but now, he was starting to see that the tribal chief's vision for the bloodline might not align with his own. The cracks in their relationship were widening, and it was only a matter of time before something had to give. 4. Jimmy USO's resentment asterisk asterisk while Jay remained distant, Jimmy USO was a different story. He stood on the opposite side of the ring, his arms crossed over his chest, his face set in a scowl. Jimmy had never fully embraced Roman's vision for the bloodline, and tonight, his resentment was more evident than ever. Jimmy's eyes burned with anger as he listened to Roman's speech. There was a bitterness in his expression, a sense of betrayal that had been simmering for months. Jimmy had always been vocal about his disagreements with Roman, but tonight, his silence spoke louder than words. 
He was done fighting for a cause he didn't believe in, and the realization that his own brother, Jay, was still loyal to Roman only fueled his anger. The tension between Jimmy and Roman had reached a boiling point, and it was clear that a confrontation was inevitable. The bloodline had always been about unity, but now, it was tearing the family apart. Jimmy was no longer willing to play the role of the obedient soldier, and his resentment was threatening to explode. 5. The inevitable betrayal asterisk asterisk as the night drew to a close, the atmosphere in the arena was thick with tension. The bloodline stood in the ring, their faces a mixture of anger, sadness, and uncertainty. Roman Reigns had always been the glue that held the bloodline together, but tonight, it became clear that even he couldn't stop the inevitable. The final moments of the show were a heartbreaking display of what was to come. Roman Reigns turned to Solo Sokoa, placing a hand on his shoulder, and for a moment, it seemed like he was about to offer words of comfort. But instead, Roman's grip tightened, his expression hardening. Solo looked up at his brother, his eyes filled with confusion and fear. In that moment, it became clear that Solo Sokoa was being led to the slaughter. Roman Reigns, in his desperation to maintain control, was willing to sacrifice his own brother to keep the bloodline intact. The betrayal was subtle, but it was there, and it left the audience with a sense of dread for what was to come. As the show ended, the camera lingered on Solo's face, his expression a mixture of fear and resignation. The bloodline, once a symbol of strength and unity, was now a family on the brink of destruction. And the most heartbreaking part of all was that it was Roman Reigns, the tribal chief himself, who was leading them to their downfall.